yes facebook and youtube you are in so let's begin right let me turn off my title and this and switch to my face yes in this video i'm going to document how i live stream to youtube facebook and twitch all at the same time with multiple cameras using a10 mini and yellow box including two cameras one computer and one smart phone so let's begin okay today i'm going to talk about multi-streaming with a10 mini and yellow box and i'm going live now if you're watching live feel free to leave a comment so that i can talk to you i can see your comments on the yellow box screen right so let's go back to the slides okay now this is what i said just now and my name what's my name okay I'm going to play around with the yellow box now with this lower thirds, All right? My name is Adrian Lee from videolane.com. Who am I? I was an electronics tech, a marketing officer, and a videographer. That was, was, okay, I was an expert. Today, I'm a trainer, a vlogger, and a streamer. So, being in this field, I would like to share what I learned. So, I'm about to show you the setup that I use in the stream that I just did two days ago, where I talked about how to generate voiceovers using um, an Android mobile video editing app. Okay, so let's begin. By the way, if you want to watch that stream, you can go to this link. I'm going to show you. All right. It's, it's the link below this page, the last one. Of course, I don't expect you to type it in. I'm going to leave the link in the description. Okay. Now, what are we going to do today? The agenda. Okay, very, very quickly, I'm going to talk about the overview of the setup. Then I will go in detail about the four video sources that I use. And then the ATA Mini setup. Okay, the Yolo Box setup. And how I mirror my screen from the Android phone to the Yolo Box. Okay, so let's begin. Okay, who is this for? This this setup that I'm gonna talk about. Definitely. It's for people like me, vloggers and streamers who wants to keep things small and portable, which I'm going to show you later what I mean by small and portable. And also who wants to stream to multiple platforms with multiple cameras and other video sources, All right? So if you are one of them, just keep watching. I'm going to show you a configuration that worked for me okay by the way in every live stream i always try a new configuration well you already know my background i'm in electronics tech and i love tech so if something works i will share with you okay at the end at the end of this this uh after showing you the setup i'm going to talk about the pros and cons of course, it doesn't work perfectly. I'm going to tell you why and, and also why I like it. What I like about this setup and what I don't like about this setup. Okay. So next, what's next? Next, let's talk about the overview. Okay, I'm going to show you the yellow box on a camera, the A10 mini and the video sources the MacBook and the Android. Okay, I'm about to review to you now. There you go. 
from my left hand to my right hand that's all I need okay it's small and portable I can pack them up into a suitcase and stream from anywhere okay all I have here is the main camera the mirrorless camera with the yellow box fitted on top then there is the black magic design a10 mini video switcher and then there is the macbook pro 2013 okay there's a reason why i say 2013 okay oh, oh one more one more the android phone okay which is the samsung galaxy s10 okay what, what is this got to do with anything okay let me show you let me show you oops negative demo oops i pressed the wrong one okay there you go that's the samsung galaxy s10 screen that you are looking at right now okay i'm going to show you the device that i use to to transmit this scene in real time live okay so let me go back to my face and uh, let's begin shall we again this is live feel free to leave your comments or, so that i can talk to you if you know something better that you have done before let me know okay share with the rest okay right now let's talk about our video source number one the panasonic lumix fz 2500 okay let me sh show it to you now okay this is the panasonic lumix fz 500 it's a mirrorless camera that shoots 4k but right now i am transmitting in 1080p okay and what do i use the the mirrorless camera for this is the main camera for the talking head shot what is the talking head shot okay this is the talking head shot you see this head that keeps talking okay this is the main shot that's what this camera is for okay <clears throat> the output the video output of this camera goes into the a10 mini switcher via a hdmi port on the side using a micro hdmi to hdmi cable okay so that's video source number one now let's look at video source number two video source number two is the macbook pro macbook let me say that again with my face video source number two is the macbook pro 2013 okay why why 2013 why must i say 2013 okay if you look at this okay it's because this is an old apple computer laptop which has an hdmi port okay the new ones don't have the new ones you gotta get an adapter which is a very flimsy adapter okay i don't like that now now what, why am i using the apple i'm using this to present my slides which you have seen earlier okay this this slide itself is coming from the macbook pro okay so it's a, it's a presentation slides that's all that's all it does it just present the slides nothing else all right that, that means i can use actually use a windows or even a tablet or something else okay so right now it's a macbook pro okay the output is coming through the hdmi port using a hdmi to hdmi cable that goes into the atem mini switcher okay so what's next 
next we have the video source number three okay the samsung galaxy s 10 okay what is it what is it there you go this is the samsung galaxy s 10 okay this is the this is that of course an android phone and uh this is the main demo of the presentation i did two days ago okay i was demonstrating this app called CapCut and using it to generate voiceovers so because i'm demonstrating this and making a tutorial out of it i need to mirror the screen on to or rather to my live audience and this is what you will see once again there okay you see a screen as i let me let me show you my face there okay as i move if i tap on the screen you can see the taps there all right in real time in real time okay so that my live audience can see the mirror image of my android screen as i demonstrate how to use the mobile video editing app okay so how is it connected to the yolo box let me show you of course it's, there's only one port on any smartphone so it's a USB-C port which goes into a, a USB-C to HDMI converter and then there is a HDMI to HDMI cable that goes into the ATEM Mini all right so that's the Android phone and then we have we have video source number four the sony mc50 what's that what's that okay let me show you now if i can just turn the camera there you go the sony the sony mc50 it is a an old video camcorder a very trusty one okay i've been using it for a very long time many many years i really love sony okay what am i using it for i'm using it to to get my white shots okay this is my white shots okay i'm also using it for for close-up shots whenever i need to do a close-up on anything i will just i will just zoom in okay to get a close-up shot especially when i'm demonstrating my android phone right so i will, I will zoom in really close to get a close-up shot okay so that's the purpose of the video source number four the the sony mc50 okay it's not in production now but i will put the equivalent equivalent camcorders in the link below okay just just a hint canon seems to be very very cheap now and it's got a hdmi input okay what's what's next oh wait i haven't i haven't finished this yet and the output the video output of the video oh wait a minute the video output of the sony mc50 goes <laughs> okay wait the video output of the sony mc50 goes into the a10 mini no 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 sorry one more time okay i've been rehearsing this and and things go awry let me see if i have any comments okay, no, no one is talking to me okay relax relax adrian let's continue let's continue okay right now the sony mc50 camcorder does not go into the a10 mini it goes in to the yolo box instead okay why later i'll show you the reason 
okay and it goes into the yellow box using uh, a mini HDMI to HDMI cable all right now let's see what's next next we have the video switcher which is the black magic design a10 mini let me say that again which is the black magic design a10 mini okay so let's take a look all right in this video i'm not i'm not going to zoom into anything but you can see the black magic design a10 mini this one is a multi-camera multi-camera selector okay right now or rather multi-video source selector because not all of them are cameras right now i'm going to use three i can put up to four video sources i only have three one from the mirrorless camera one from the macbook pro and one from the android phone okay and uh, i can only select one at a time for example i'll switch over i'll switch over to the slides okay you can't see it okay i switch over this to the main camera the talking headshot and i switch over to the slides and then i switch over to the android phone very easily okay so three video sources going in and the output of the a10 mini goes into the yellow box via a hdmi to hdmi cable okay so when i switch from here and it goes into the yolo box so what's next what's next now the ATA mini is a interesting device so if you want to watch more of my ATA mini reviews go to this link below okay it's a bit long so i'll leave it in the description or you can download this at the end of the video all right so what's next now the live streaming studio itself the yolo box or rather i should say the yolo live yolo box okay let's take a look okay this is the yolo box by yolo live okay that's the name of the company all right right now it it takes in the video input from the blackmagic design a10 mini output okay via the hdmi input source number one and then yes input source number two or rather hdmi input source number two via the via the oops i was just trying to create okay via the sony mc50 video camcorder and then the sources goes in and i can switch from here okay i can switch back to the a10 mini and the i can switch between the a10 mini output which is this one and the sony mc50 output right the white shot okay and all this goes into or rather all this goes out to three locations youtube facebook and twitch which is exactly what i'm doing right now if you are watching the recorded version it's because it's because it's recorded on youtube and facebook whereas on twitch it will disappear in i think 14 days right i'm also doing a recording on the yellow box itself okay so so if you're watching this how should i say it's a bit confusing if you're watching the recorded version okay check the link below if you're watching this on youtube go to, go and check the link in facebook 
if you're watching this on Facebook go check the link on YouTube I'm not recommending Twitch because if you watch this after 14 days the Twitch version would disappear okay so that's the yellow box now what do we have now if you want to know more about the yolo box go ahead and check out my my full review of the yolo box by clicking on that link okay i'll leave the link in the description or you can download these this slides and get and click the link from here okay so since this is live feel free to leave your comments talk to me so that i know people are watching all right and uh yes i know people are watching but people are not talking to me okay okay now now let's talk about the audio source okay we don't just talk about video audio is very important as well so here goes okay as for audio it's a little bit complicated okay i'll, I'll go through the I, I will simplify it the voice you hear right now my voice is picked up from this mic okay this is the logitech h triple one headset okay the voice is coming through this mic and it's going into the Panasonic FZ2500 right through the microphone input and in turn it goes out through the HDMI cable into the A10 mini and from the A10 mini into the yellow box and to you okay that's my voice what about the other audio and then there is this there is this audio coming from here if I can play back comes with a detachable remote control an extendable road up to 690 mil okay that's the audio or the voice coming from the Samsung Galaxy S10 which goes out through the USB-C port through the USB-C to HDMI converter into the ATEM mini and on the ATEM mini goes into the yellow box I hope I kept that simple and from the yellow box it goes to you okay the what the watcher the viewer the watcher the audience okay or whatever okay right now the audio from the MacBook Pro is turned off because I don't need the audio maybe in the next configuration in my next test I will use the audio from the MacBook Pro to play some background music so right now it's turned off I don't need it and uh, audio levels audio levels are also being adjusted before I went live okay they adjusted um, uh, the uh, the audio volume adjustments actually the adjustments not too perfect notice when I shout when I shout the voice breaks okay that's why I try to control my volume my, my my physical throat volume but otherwise the volume is adjusted on the ATEM mini and the yellow box itself okay now there's there's a lot more a lot more okay I didn't mention this in the agenda because there's so much more to show you things that I want to I want to let people know all oh, everything else you should know okay so here goes let's let's go back to my face okay first of all the title you see at the beginning of this stream the one you see here yep okay this is generated from the yellow box itself okay this 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 title title bar and uh, I can ever show you from here okay this title bar this title bar how do I map okay this title bar here is generated 
from the yellow box and if you if you have seen there's also the scrolling message okay scrolling message coming here all right this is the show will begin so i can create several scrolling message later at the end of the stream i will show the the ending scrolling message this one is for the beginning i see the show will begin in one minute like comment and share okay let me turn off and then let me turn off the title bar as well and then there is the logo on the top on the top right hand corner i can turn it on or off all that is done on the yellow box then the lower thirds is from here too okay that's what you saw in the beginning the lower thirds okay my name and my website okay let me turn it off and go back so the text are being keyed in directly on the yellow box all right so now next let's talk about the internet connection right now the yellow box is streaming to the direct to the internet via an ethernet cable okay the yellow box can also connect to the internet via wi-fi and mobile 4g data okay i've already tested the wi-fi go and watch my review i'm about to test the 4g data outside okay when i don't have to wear a mask okay now now that's that's the internet one more thing okay it's right now as i'm presenting live is also being recorded onto an sd card which i've inserted into the euro box okay so there's multiple recordings okay one good one in the sd card one on youtube and one on facebook but i know i can't download the a good quality from youtube and facebook so i want to have a good quality recorded here on the sd card in resolution 1080p okay so so now the pros and cons okay the pros and cons what do i think about this setup okay every time i go live i try a different configuration okay it could be worse it could be better but uh, what about this one this is the first time i use a time mini together with the yolo box okay so let me give you my honest opinion okay let's talk about a time mini first the pros okay the a time mini can take in four hdmi video inputs whereas the yolo box can only take in two hdmi inputs well the yellow box can take in actually five video inputs but only two regular hdmi ones the other the other ports are not so not so regular like usb or internet or even from sd card so i would say only two hdmi input like today i need four video sources and it only has two so that's where the a10 mini comes in now if you notice there was a picture in picture here picture of my talking head over a slides okay this is done on the a10 mini okay the reason why i do it there because my face can appear in multiple backgrounds that means if i change the background to the android screen i can put my face there all right whereas on the yellow box if i can show you um there you go there yellow box also have picture in picture the one below below right now okay let me turn off the the one coming from the 8 mini so this is 
this is the picture in picture for Yolo box. The only cons is it can only appear in one background, in one scene. I can't use it in multiple scene. Probably in future they could improve on that. Okay now next thing is audio mixing. As you can hear from my demo just now, you can hear my voice and you can hear the computer voice. You can hear both of them at the same time. Or rather the the Android voice. Okay, I'm gonna play and talk at the same time. Standable road up so to six hundred and Android is talking millimeters. and I am and a built talking. Mini tripod. Okay. So so that is audio mixing that can be done on the ATEM Mini. I can mix up to four or rather up to six different audio sources. Okay, four from the uh, four from the HDMI input and two from just purely audio connection. Uh, whereas the yellow box on the yellow box I can only choose one audio to be output at a time. So that's where the the pros of the ATEM Mini comes in. Okay. So does that mean that yellow box is no good? They actually work together very well. They are like made for each other. So let's now let's talk about the pros of the yellow box. Okay. The yellow box can live stream my videos to the internet without using a computer or third party software. Everything's live streamed from within this tiny little box. Okay, see how slim it is sitting on my camera. And not just live stream, it, the new term is called, it multi streams. It streams to multiple platforms without me paying a subscription fee. Okay, you just although you buy the, the yellow box at one one fixed price, some people think it's expensive, but if you combine the subscription fee, it could cost you a yellow box that you can use for life. So now, so now, when I say multiple platform, right now I'm going to three places. YouTube, Facebook, and Twitch. Okay, it can go to one more place, which I'm not too sure where I should go. Okay, let me know. Leave your comments. Anybody leave a comment? Okay, nobody left their comment yet. It's quite normal. I'm broadcasting at a time when everyone is sleeping on the other side of the world. And on my side of the world, everyone is working. Why do I do that? Because I'm shy. I'm still practicing my live presentation skills. Until I'm good at it, I will go live prime time. Okay. Now, now that being said, okay, other than uh, live streaming and multi streaming, what else? What are the pros of the Yolo box that will? They will work together. They work well with the A10 Mini. Okay. Very quickly, if you notice, I didn't use any monitor because the Yolo box is a monitor. Okay, if you think the screen is too small, I can expand the screen. There you see. There you go. I can see myself there. And uh, it's also a recorder which I've already mentioned twice in this video and then it is also a switcher which I've demonstrated just now so let me switch back to the smaller monitor screen so that I can have my dashboard control okay so what else do we have okay your favorite let's go back it's time for the bonus free download. If you like this video so far, 
I repeat that. If you like this video so far, click the thumbs up and share this video with your friends. Okay, leave a comment or question below. And if you haven't done so, subscribe. Okay, so now, what about the bonus free download? You can get it from here. Okay, I have quite a number of free stuff here. So, what can you download from Gumroad? My personal page at Gumroad. This very slide that I show you with all the links to my product reviews, as well as uh, I'm going to put in links to the products itself. So, if you want to know the configure, you want to have the PDF version of this configuration. Go ahead, download these slides from here. Gumroad.com slash Adrian Lee. All right. And um, what else do we have? Okay. <clears throat> now, it's Q&A time. Let's see any comments. Oh, yes, we have a comment. We have a comment from Media Studio 5. Hello, Adrian. Hello. Hello, Media Studio 5. Thanks for watching on YouTube. Okay, I hope I hope you enjoy the content so far. I'm still trying to improve my live stream presentation. Okay. Okay. Um, Media Studio 5 says, how can I use Asian live broadcasting services like such as Billy Billy? Hmm. Interesting question. Billy Billy. I haven't tried Billy Billy yet. I'm still on TikTok. Okay, and I know TikTok I have to reach one hundred subscribers or one hundred follow a uh, one thousand followers before I can go live. But since you ask about Billy Billy, maybe I'll go find out because I would like to go live on multiple platforms as well. All right. Thanks for asking. Thanks for watching Media Studio 5, if that is your name. And on Facebook, no one is commenting on Facebook. I know there are viewers. There are always viewers, but no commenters. Okay. So <clears throat> that's it for q and I'm practicing now, even in a non-prime time there's still a small q a and uh, very slowly i'll move into prime time prime time is like uh, 6 p.m onwards 6 or rather us time 6 a.m to 12 p.m am i right yes somewhere there okay anyway I will, I will find the prime time soon. <clears throat> Sorry, this is live, and I have to do a little bit of burp. So now I've shown you my small and portable multi-cam, multi-stream setup. All right. So let's end off this video All right by saying. Thanks for watching. I will, wait, 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 let me see. How long did we stream? We streamed for 40 minutes, for 40 minutes. So thanks for watching till the end. This is Adrian Lee from videolane.com. See you in the next one. Okay. Yep. I'm quite happy with this stream. Next, I'll play back the stream to check. Next configuration. Oh, in the next configuration, I will use a different camera to test. And I'll turn on the audio from the Mac. All right. So I will stop transmitting. Oh wait.
before I stop. I know no one is watching now. So take a quick snapshot. Yes. Yes. Let me put up on my Instagram. Okay. Shot without me. Maybe it's now the show. Oh, why is there a timer? Do I have a timer? Oh, this is going to be the thumbnail. Alright. Alright. So I just generated the thumbnail. I'm going to take a snapshot of this. Away. Okay, and one more from this angle. Yeah, nice angle. Let me take one more from here with the white white shot. With the white camera. terrible. Okay, photo ops is done. See you in the next one.